And welcome back to Salina. We're at Crestwood, and where a big event took place, 100 million panels have uh, been produced uh, around the country and uh, uh, using a, a soy-based product, uh, a resin. And uh, to talk about it from really a farmer standpoint and the and the Kansas soybean checkoff standpoint, Lant Trezak, a farmer from Onega, and currently serves as chair of the Kansas Soybean Commission. So, Lance, talk about a day like today, celebrating uh, another other new use of, uh, of soybeans that uh, not only helps you as a farmer, but, but helps every consumer that has a home. Well, this, this is really a nice success. This project started almost 20 years ago, and, uh, and the good thing about it is it, uh, they use a soy flour, and the USB worked with private individuals to, to develop this, started in Oregon State University. And they use soy flour instead of formaldehyde for the glue in plywood. So in your homes and with all the workers around and everything else, this is just a much better deal. And uh, they said they've used about 6 million acres worth of soy uh, for this product today with 100 million panels. So we're just really glad that, that the farmer checkoff dollars can help fund this. And it's just another way to help us use our soy. And it was to bring it back to those Kansas soybean farmers right behind us that go into these, these Crestwood cabinets that not only are here in Kansas but all over, but they're, they're made right here. And so that also has to make you feel good that that product of that investment, you know, a lot of it could stay right here in Kansas. That's right, yeah. No, they're using our product right here in Kansas and uh, supporting jobs, and we're really, really glad to see that. Well, let's talk about not only this, but other projects. Uh, uh, it seems like that uh, not only the Kansas Soybean Commission, but the United Soybean Board had really kind of upped their game, if you will, focusing on sustainable products and really sharing that story of sustainability. Well, yeah, we're always looking for, for new uses for soybeans. You know, you hate to be, we were so reliant on China, and uh, that's not working out so well now, that we need, we need these other uses anyway, and, and we've worked on them for years and years. But, um, yeah, I mean, you have the oil you can do things with. You have the soy fire you can do things with. And so we're really focusing on demand and trying to find uses for our soy. All right. So, again, situations like this, I mean, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it, when you go out and you pick up and see those soybeans grown, it's also good to see some of the finished product and, 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 and quite something. Who would have ever thought 20 years ago, would this work and, and, and how it's been accepted? Uh, it, it's quite an accomplishment for farmer leaders like you and other industries to, 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 to partner together. It is. You know, you, you, you just can't think of all the things. The possibilities of soy are almost endless. You know, it has the oil for that and the meal. And so they can take and, and do so many things that you don't even think about in it. All right. Well, Lance, we appreciate it. And again, congratulations to the industry. 100 million panels of, of working with uh, these fine companies. And so uh, we look forward to hearing more of these great stories. Yeah, we hope they can whip out another 100 million. Use that's some it. more beans up. That's <laughs> it. Lance Rezac from Onega, who is uh, vice chair of the Kansas Soybean Commission, has joined us from Salina here at Crestwood. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up.